Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be speaking about architecture presentations. Um, so some people should be joining. Hey guys. So I, I see you guys have, have... Did you guys start your first week of the premium? Verbling Premium. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Did you guys see the the Verbling Premium? Did everybody click on that? Yeah, I saw it. I clicked on that. And you clicked start first for uh first week for free? No, I didn't. I didn't choose it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna double check and show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, because the first two minutes are for the people who are. So see, join class early. I want. Did it say, so like here you see, try Verbling Premium for free. Did you guys see this? Did anybody click on this? No. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've, uh, I've seen it, but I didn't click. So you none of you guys clicked on it for my class. You just came to the Hangout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, that's not, okay. Okay, okay. I'll get that figured out. Um, but just to explain a little bit, so what I was looking at, it's called Verbling Premium. So, with that, you guys can basically reserve your seats in the class. So, like, you guys got here early, so, you know, you, you got your seats. But in the future, uh, the first two minutes of each class are going to be reserved so that the Verbling Premium users can get there first. So let's say there were, you know, six Verbling Premium users who were trying to get into my class. They, in the first two minutes, they would be the only ones that were allowed to click join class because it would be blue for them. And then you'd see like a counter that's counting down from two minutes. And then after that two minutes, anybody who was not a Verbling Premium user would be able to click on that and join the class. So does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so the way it works now um, is you can try Verbling Premium for a week, um, but if you want, like after your first week, it's $25 a month for unlimited seat reservation. So you can reserve, I don't know, like as many classes as you can attend in a month. Um, so, you know, if this is something that, you know, you're really interested in and you really want those seats, you know, to speak in the class, then I would say definitely check that out. Um, but also know that if you don't get it, you still will be able to join the classes. You just might not get a seat if there are other people who pay and are verbally premium users. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Okay, I, sh I just wanted to make sure you guys understood that, you know, and if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask me at the end of the class, and I can answer them for you. Um, but, hi guys, my name's Joe, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and today we're going to be speaking about, I wrote art, but I meant architecture presentations. Um, so, what we're going to do first is have everybody introduce themselves by saying your name, country, where you're from, and um, whether you brought a, a building or not, like something to share for your presentation. And if you didn't, that's okay. Um, but just say whether you brought something or not. So I'll go first. My name's Joe um, from the United States, and I did bring something. I brought two things to show. Um, so we'll start from the very left with Ayeline. Aisheline, it's like um, S-H. Aisheline? Aisheline. Aisheline. 
Yes, I'm from Argentina. In Buenos, I'm from in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. Um, and what can I say? Well, I look for many buildings with its history and architecture. So uh -huh. that would be very funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. So you have some. That's good. Um, Carl. Yeah, I'm right here. Right. Hi everybody, my name is Carl. I I am from China, but right now I'm in the United States. And shame on me that I didn't bring you guys anything, but I can think <laughs> of one. <laughs> okay, okay. If you can think of one, you know, while everybody's introducing themselves, feel free to go grab an image, and you know, learn a little bit, like refresh your memory on a little bit of history about it. Um, okay, I'll... that works. <laughs> okay, uh, Carlos. Yeah, hey Carlos, your microphone Hello. might be there. We Hello. go. <clears throat> I'm Carlos. I'm from Spain, and I bring two two monuments. Okay. Cool. Um, Eddie, Caleb. Hi, uh, I'm Eddie. From I am from Peru. And I am architect. I am an architect, so I hope you enjoy this class. Okay, awesome. And did you bring any maybe like buildings to show for presentation? Uh, I just saw the class uh, five minutes ago, and I searched for one uh -huh. building. So I hope uh, it's okay. Okay, okay, that works. That works. Uh, Fatma, Fatma Aded. Your, your microphone may be muted. Just a reminder for those of you who are new here to mute your microphone and to unmute it. Okay, Fatma, we're gonna, I'm guessing, um, they're working on adjusting their microphone. Uh, Joan? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Well, I'm Joan from, from Spain, Barcelona. Um, well, maybe perhaps I'm going to show you perhaps the, the most relevant building here in, in Barcelona, which is uh, Sagrada, Sagrada Familia. Okay. And, All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. There it is. Okay. Um, Jose? Good afternoon. I am Jose. I am from Spain. I am in Valencia, and here there are uh, a bigger uh, building from Caravaca, like Oceanographic. Okay. Okay. And so you're going to talk to us a little bit about that. Jose. Yes, I tell you that in Valencia we have um, a group of bigger buildings made for uh, Cal Calatrava. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, Maldi? Yes. Hello, Joe. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah, um, so um, uh, I'm from China, and uh, but I live in France. Um, the building I would like to introduce, it's, I think it's a very famous one, it's Notre Dame de Paris. Um, and also I would like to say this year, 2013, is um, 850 years birthday of that uh, cathedral. How many years? 800, 800, 850 years birthday. 850, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. It's the, yeah, this year. So during all this year, there's uh, all kind of the celebrations on the cathedral. And uh, at the beginning of the February, there's eight new bells arrive but they re they restore the they get, they take off the old bells and they change the new bells. So there's eight new bells arrive on the at the beginning of the February. Yeah. 
Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect day. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Yuri? Uh, hello, I'm Yuri from Russia. Uh, I'm going to show you maybe Kiev, maybe Moscow, I don't know. I, I think uh, about Kiev. You think what? Uh, I think I show you Kiev. Kiev, okay. All right, cool. Um, okay, I think that's everybody. Fatma, are you there? Okay, I don't think Fatma is there. Um, okay, so I think that's everybody. So welcome everybody. Um, I'm glad most of you have a building. If you don't, um, then you know you can try and find one uh, while you know another student is giving their presentation, just so that way you have one and you have something to share with everybody. Um, Basically, the way we're going to do this is you guys are just going to volunteer, you know, whoever wants to go first. And, you know, what you can do is share your screen um, and, you know, show a few pictures, maybe talk about it a little bit if you know any kind of history. Um, and that's basically how we're going to do it. Just, just for this hour, we're just going to be basically, you know, telling each other about these cool buildings that we know um, or, you know, that we like. So, is there anybody that would like to start first? Like always, nobody wants to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, my first, um, it's, it's my first class, uh, I mean, um, that I can speak and you can see me because I'm always uh, writing there by the side. Uh -huh. um, if you want, I can start. Okay, sure. Uh, well, first of all, I am. Um, uh, it's a really strange fact because I wanted to show you the National Library. It's that the Argentinian National Library. He, uh, just a second, I would try to, because I have the picture, but I can, uh, okay, it's here, but, well, I can tell you that it's, um, it's made of, can be, a crude concrete, crude concrete, uh -huh. and that style, if it's that style, um, it's called brutalism. Brutalism. Because Brutalism, uh, because of a uh, French word, beton brut, that means crude uh, concrete. Just okay. a second, it's the uh, hmm. Biblioteca Nacional. Just a second. <laughs> here it is. And here we have. Uh oh. Where'd she go? And? Oh no, she must have accidentally hit the wrong button. Darn it. Okay, well. What's over. happened? I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe she got kicked out of the hangout on accident. That's very okay. strange. Would anybody like to go? <laughs> I'm not. Nobody, yes. <laughs> okay, about Kiev again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, everybody must uh, see link in chat. Uh, I can oh. share. Yes. Link in chat uh, in Google Plus. Um, oh. It is. Um, very popular place in Kyiv, uh, really popular. It's called Andreevsky uh, Church. Uh, it's a very old build, for, uh, about um, 
not very, not as old as a uh, library in Spain, I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> or in Argentina, I, I'm, I'm not sure. <coughs> but um, it's really very, uh, very old for us, uh, about uh, 200 years. And it is the most highest church in Kyiv. Uh, Kyiv is a, a town uh, with a um, big amount of hills, and uh, its church uh, built uh, on uh, one of these uh, hills. And uh, uh, you can see a um, um, place uh -huh. um, uh, you can see stairs and the place and it is the most beautiful play, uh, view on the on Kiev uh, from this uh, place it's uh, really perfect and uh, uh, in U youtube you can see uh, you can watch uh, um, a lot of uh, panorama's video from this place uh, with uh, perfect view on uh, Dnieper it's a river in Kiev and uh, it's really cool when you see it uh, alive. Thank you. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. That was that's that looks um, really interesting. And just if I may ask, um, did you choose that for a specific reason? Like, have you been there? Um, yes, uh, I've been, uh, and it is one of the, my uh, favorite place in Kiev. Favorite place in Kiev. Really, it's really beautiful, especially in morning when uh, sunrise uh, with sunrise, uh, and uh, oh, <laughs> hello, <laughs> she, she returns. Sorry, uh, and uh, please uh, continue. <laughs> no, no, come on, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Go on, go on, <laughs> go on explaining. It was interesting. Uh, I, I miss. Um, I, you were I, you were at the part where like it's really pretty in the morning because the sun's rising and then. Yes, yes. I I, I have um, if I not lose it, I have a video with the sunrise in Kiev. Oh, you have a video for us. Okay. But no, sorry, I don't have this video. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. Sorry, maybe um, after some uh, several minutes, I try to find it again. I close this page. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please okay. continue. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, thank you for sharing, Yuri. Uh, Asheline, would you like to go again? Uh, okay. Yes. Well, uh, there we have in this uh, web on this website we can found we can find many um, pictures of this building. And well, just a second. What is Lynn? Sorry. It's in the Verbling chat, but I'll post it. Oh, in the sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. No. Yes, it's there. And well, the first picture was the the first national library but then they changed to this it's a really strange building you have the the third picture that you have but i think the fifth picture would be more there you can see it's incredible it's uh, really strange wow. Building, but um, in this case they have built it like that way because of the floods. In case of floods, it's okay. I don't know if uh -huh. in case of uh, floods, so all the books are well very very high. <laughs> so that's why. And another um, uh, example. For this, uh, I don't know if it was a movement. This brutalism. It's the, if I'm not wrong, in just a second. The University of Leeds in in England. Just a second. Okay. University of Leeds. Uh, just a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. And was really interesting because it's something strange here, 
but they have uh, yes here I will share it with you okay it's very very interesting and kind of new because concrete mm -hmm. here it is Run around there University of Leeds. Also, this movement, this um, brutalism, and it's kind of shocking. <laughs> it's like very, very big, and with all those things there, it's strange. But that's it's in England. unusual. Exactly. I don't know if it's functional, but it's really strange. So mm -hmm. I have many, many buildings, so you can go on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so cool. I've, I... Um... I don't know very much about architecture, but brutalism, so that's what it's called, right? Brutalism? Yes, in, in Spanish. I don't know if, in, if it's oh. English. It's kind of the same. Brutalismo. So Brutalism. it would be... Probably. I mean, I, I can double-check really quickly. Brut A lot of bicycle houses build. A lot of what? A lot of bi uh, bike, bicycle. Our last, yes. our last image. Uh, you know, step of leads, yes. And uh, uh, c c what about students in this building? How they uh, study? <laughs> Maybe they go it's, on by. It's, it's, it's a little, maybe unusual. <laughs> mm -hmm. They might think it's a little bit weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, I couldn't find brutalismo in the dictionary that I normally use. Um, but it has know. to do with architecture, I mean, I think. All yeah. with that. I don't know. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing, Ashley. Um, would anybody else like to go next? Anybody? Judge, uh, it's called brutalism in English, really. Uh, oh. And uh, they have new brutalism, in, uh, especially. It's a new way in this uh, style. And uh, I think brutalism yeah, it is. It's... Uh, okay, 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 I found it. Thank you. I think Daniel posted the link. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. Okay, would anybody like to go next? Anybody? Somebody from Spain, please. From <laughs> Barcelona, with okay. his perfect building. <laughs> okay, so I, I will go ahead if you want. Barcelona, yes. it isn't Spain, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see what, what, what happened. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, as I told you before, uh, maybe the most representative a building here in, in Barcelona is, uh, is uh, the temple of Sagrada Familia. The, the construction begins, I uh, think, in 1880 or 1885, and still continues today. It was designed originally by, by Antoni Gaudí. I'm going to, to type it. Uh, uh, well, uh, he's he's already dead, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, the the following architects are are continuing the, the building, following the, the drafts and so on that that we we left behind. And I don't know. <laughs> I think the best I can do is to. To share with you, to share with you um, a link. Okay. To uh, Wikipedia, so for example, um, maybe in a, a video too. Yeah, that would be cool. So, yeah, so you, you can check it and, and see <laughs> and see and know a little bit more about 
about it. All right, there it is. Antonio Cadi. Yeah. I know. And here it is there, the video. It is really very famous architecture and. Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a very famous architecture here. Uh, it, it designed a lot of, of buildings during the, the last century. Have you... Um, I know that you can take a tour inside. Have you ever done that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only one time. Because as you may know, well, when, when, I, when I travel, I used to visit a, a lot of of buildings and, and things, but I don't know why, but <laughs> I didn't go to visit things in, in my own city. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, th thank you for sharing that with us. Joan, um, has anybody been there? No, nobody. Yeah, uh, who is? Me. Carlos? Yeah. When did you go? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago. And did you go inside? Oh no, because of the uh, okay. there were I think there were uh, the I don't know how to say the, the, the construction or oh the construction was going on so you couldn't yeah. go in. Okay, huh? Um, that's cool. I, yeah, I went there too actually. Um, I was going to show you guys a picture real quick that I took. So yeah, I went there during the summer, and I did not go inside, but you can kind of see, like, here's a crane, um, but the construction that was going on, they still let you go inside, but you know, on, like, one part they were building, so it's it's really amazing. Like, you can see how small the people are right here and how tall this building is. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joe, uh, did you try to, to go upstairs inside the tower? No, I was on the outside, and the line was super long since it was the summer, so we didn't um, we didn't wait or we didn't pay to go inside. We just kind of went there, took a few pictures, then left. <laughs> okay, because because uh, in in the, in the stairs there are no no railings. So. Uh, oh. Yeah, so it's well, it's it's scary, but but uh, they they say that it's very it's it's not um, how can you say it? it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Yeah. Oh, it's safe. Okay. Because because the the hole is it's not enough to to to, to a person going. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know how to explain, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of a. Uh... Well, it could be dangerous just because if you're walking up and you fall, you can't grab onto anything. Yeah, I will try to to, to look for, for a picture for a picture of, of of the stairs. This is okay. A really good good to start from. Um, okay, yeah. See if you can find something. Uh, thank you for sharing. Let's see if anybody else wants to volunteer and go. Me. Carlos, all right, cool. So, I'm going to put a link, two links. Here it is, the Gateway Arch in the United States. <laughs> okay. So, the, the Gateway Arch, or gateway uh, to the west it's an arch that is the centerpiece of the Jefferson National Expansion um, it's the St. Louis <laughs> oh my gosh. sorry Carlos that was my roommate's alarm <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, it is in St. Louis, in Missouri, <clears throat> and it was built as a monument to the um, expansion of the United States to the west. Wow. It's uh, 192 meters, 
and is the tallest man-made monument in the United States. So you can you can get get into the monument and uh, climb it to the top. So it's the tallest accessible building, and uh, I th I have to say. The price. I don't know how to say it because it's a long, a long, very long um, number. So I'll help you out. Um, okay. So the construction began on February uh -huh. in uh, 1963 okay. and ended on October 1965, costing at the time. Well, I will write the number. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Well, I'll try to say it. Ninety-five million nine hundred thousand dollars. Dollars. Yeah, you got yeah. it. So, wow. and the monument opened <coughs> to the public <coughs> in 1967. So. The only problem is that in January, uh, on the 70s, because of the frigid temperatures in, in Missouri, the arch wow. drank three inches. So uh, sometimes uh, the very strong winds make the structure um, like sway. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, they, they are they are fixing it. Yeah. Wow, that's that's so cool. I never I I've I mean I've seen pictures of it, but I never knew the history behind it. So that's that's really cool that you chose that, Carlos. Yeah. And the other Oh, if I can say it. Sure. Well, one by one or You can go for another, yeah. I mean Okay. Yeah. So this is the beautiful the most beautiful one because I love it. I haven't been there, but is the Grand Place in in, Brusse in Brussels? I want to show it. In, okay, in Brussels. It's incredible. So three, three pictures. Wow. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's very beautiful. Sorry. It's very beautiful. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. The lights. It's incredible. Okay. So it's a market there. Yes. It is called the Grand Place. Because it's a French word. Mm -hmm. They speak in French, okay. <laughs> it's the central <laughs> square of Brussels. And it is surrounded by um guild halls, uh the city's town hall. And the bread house. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry. Is it Bruxelles? Yeah. Bruxelles? It's. Mm -hmm. oh, how do you pronounce it in French? I think. I mean, in English we say Brussels. Brussels. <laughs> so Brussels Br can be. Brussels. Brussels. Brussels, <laughs> Brussels yes. Okay. okay. Sorry. So. The square is the most, uh, it's like uh, the most important tourist destination in Brussels. Uh, it's a trade uh, location of the city, it's, it's the most important trade center. It measures uh, between 68 uh, by 110 meters, I think. Uh, and it's an UNESCO World Heritage Site, of course. <laughs> what what you can see in the in the pictures is an enormous flower carpet. So it's set up in the Grand Place uh, for a few days, every two years in August, and a million colorful. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Bergonia, maybe. Yeah, begonias, or something like that. How do you spell that? Begonias. No, in in yes, English it's begonia too. Okay, okay. okay. A begonias. kind of flower. Okay. Yeah. 
these flowers you can see. Yeah, a million colorful begonias are set up in partners and uh, display covers a full 24 by 77 meters. Okay, I'm I'm looking at I'm, I'm searching I have searched the, the the measure of course. So for area total, the 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 flowers uh, measure. 180,000 meters, square meters, of course. How many? 1,800 oh, 1, square meters of flowers. Mm -hmm. So the first uh, flower carpet was made in um, 1971. And due to its popularity, the tradition continued uh, with the flower carpet attracting a large number of tourists from from all over the world so I think uh, last year on the here in Spain on the local TV here in Galicia they showed the festival and I think they said that uh, like 120 countries people from 120 countries was there were there so it's the it's amazing and so beautiful wow that is amazing thank yeah. you for sharing that carlos you're welcome um one thing that i want to say about carlos's uh first building the what's it called the gateway arch yeah. in missouri for those of you that don't know where missouri is um here's a map so oh, yes, see, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 that's okay. So here's Missouri, kind of in the Mideast, I guess you could say. Um, and so if you guys are wondering where I'm from, I'm over here in Arizona. I'm, I'm actually, I live in Tucson now, but I'm from Phoenix. Just in case you guys didn't know where that was. Okay. Um, so I think that's it for Carlos. Is there anything else you wanted to say, Carlos? Oh, no. Okay. okay. All right. Um, would anybody like to go next? Yes, me. Okay. I would like to share a um, um, picture. At the, wait. At the, <clears throat> can everybody see the picture? Um, the is it the housing plots? In yes, Den is Denmark. It, it, yeah, it's in Denmark. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a, a kind of the um, residence. So yeah, uh, each family have a house, and we can see um, in in one circle there is more than so I think it's more than thirty or twenty house houses for each family. So I just find this construction is very funny because the view of the uh, view from the sky it just look like um, a bunch of the grapes does I make does <laughs> do I make sense yeah yeah so yeah. if you look at it from what's called like an aerial view or a bird's eye view bird's eye okay. it's like a, a bunch of the Grape, but the <coughs> it looks like a bunch of grapes. Yeah, grapes. Grapes. Yeah, wow. It must be a very funny place. I'm sure. Wow. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> That's so funny. I wonder. Huh. Yeah. Is there? So what is this called? They're just called um, housing plots at Bronby. Bronby is the name of the city. I think. Okay. Mm. Ah, okay. And so you just found that randomly? Pardon? Did did you like how did you find this? Did oh because you? because I found I, I read I read I read a book about Europe and oh. and just mentioned this uh, this uh, so funny houses there. So <laughs> I would like to share that because I find it also a bit uh, uh, because a human can create something really, really nice, and this is one example. 
Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now I want to live in this place. Really. <laughs> Does it, would anybody else want to live there? Yeah, I want to live there also. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I don't know. It's to me. It's like. It to me. It seems like it would be in a movie. Like the perfect. Uh, I don't know, like residential community. Like you're all mm -hmm. living, you've all got your own little grapes or circles, and you know it, it's not dangerous because you know your kids can all play in the what's called the cul-de-sac, like the the circle thing. That's called the cul-de-sac. Uh -huh. It's yeah. like the uh, part of, of of the world. Yeah, it's it's weird. That's I mean it's it's cool, but like I I don't know, I'd never known that that even existed mm -hmm. that's cool um, I think that word is French Joan um, I'm guessing it's French I yeah it's French it's a bit of slang language yeah <laughs> I, I okay. guess it's French because in, in Catalan it's, it's the same it, it means something like the, the ass of, of the back you know yeah. oh, okay 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 yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, interesting. Um, anybody else? Would anybody else like to go? That is not gone. Me. All right. Me. Uh, well, I am gonna show us, uh, show you uh, the Taipei one hundred and one. The Taipei one hundred and one is placed in Taiwan in the city of Taipei. Okay. You can can you see my screen? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so this is the Taipei one hundred and one. Is actually today is the second building more more tall tallest tallest of the world uh, it was it was building it was built built, built between the G, years 1997 and 2003 wow so it's new uh, yes uh, like almost eight years since they finished uh, this this will this building has uh, 106 floors uh, and five floors are uh, under the, the 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 ground in the basement in the basement uh -huh, under the ground and the rest of the floors are over uh, over so his his height its height of this building is uh, 509 meters I don't know in feet wow is one well, is five hundred and uh, nine meters. Um, in total, and it was a very expensive building because uh, it it cost in uh, one one thousand seven hundred millions of dollars. dollars. One hundred seven million. One hundred seven. No, one thousand seven hundred millions. Wait, 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 wait! Can you write that out? Cause um, maybe it's billion, one hundred, or uh, one billion seven hundred million. Uh, maybe it's. I am gonna. That. I am gonna write it. Is okay. One billion. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you yes. say that one billion seven hundred and million. Ah, huh. okay. okay. So. Um, uh, this this building is a little special. It has a steel ball like this. This is the steel ball that has between the floors uh, between the floors uh, 80, 87 and and ninety two. It's it's a steel ball that helps to balance the building because it's so tall. So uh, this ball uh, helps to balance. To balance it. So, oh, so it's it helps to balance it. So it's like Daniel said that it's it's a pendulum. Yes, yes. 
So if you guys don't know what a pendulum is, it's like one of those things that swings back and forth like this. Yes, uh, uh, that helps. Uh, it moves moves a little, uh, so for the earth, earthquakes, it uh, helps. And this, uh, he, this is the a, a peak of the building in the night. So if if you see the the shape of of the building, it was designed designed uh, uh, like a bamboo. If you see, if you see this, uh, the architects uh, uh, decided uh, trying to uh, like a bamboo. No? Uh, so the bamboo is divided in so many parts, and to, uh, so the building has the the same parts to try to the, be like a, a bamboo. That is how the this is the building that I want to sh I want to show you. So because it was the first building that I, I had to do a, a class when I was studying architecture, so I have a special feeling to this building. Wow, that's that's so, so cool. Nice. Is this yes. in Taiwan, isn't it? Yes, it's in ta uh, in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, is it a uh, hotel or office building or no, maybe? No, it's it's a office building. Uh, actually, it has a lot of, of things inside of the of, of it. Office buildings, I uh, se um, shopping centers, uh, everything. There's a uh, Mm. I try to imagine, for example, um, broken uh, elevator and how I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that would Start not be Start climbing. Good. <laughs> yes. Mm. Wow. And, uh, ho that is how I I have for you guys. Awesome! Thank you for sharing that with us. It's mm. really incredible. It is. Yeah. That makes me think of, um, he said, you know, how he said that it's like a shopping mall, an office, and tons of things. Uh, that makes me kind of think of, in Spain, they have Corte Inglés. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I, think, I feel like it could be kind of the same. That's cool. All right. Uh, anybody else that would like to go? We have 12 minutes, so we could probably get through two people. Um is there anybody that would like to go that I just that is not gone yet? Is there anybody? And, yeah. And now, but the again. <laughs> is there is there anybody that would like to go again that has something else to share? Joe, please share with us. Something. You want you want me to share? Yes. Is there anybody else that would like to share instead of me? I mean, I, I can share, but um, I'd rather give you guys the chance if you guys have something to share. Uh, to answer your question, Carlos, there is like there's a pl there's like a mall called like Mall America, I think, and it's um, uh, Mall America. It's mall. Okay, it's called the Mall of America. Which I've never been there. Um, it's in Minnesota. Uh, here, I'll show you guys some pictures. Um, oh, but it's it's all all around America, or it's only so. So, Mall America is like it's like a, an amusement park inside of a mall, but like you can also shop there. I think. So let's see. So you can kind of see. This is what it looks like. It's really big. I don't know. I don't know very much about it. Like, I I only heard about it about three three years ago. But this is the front of it, and then it's basically like an amusement park. I think it on the inside. So it's like an indoor amusement park, I guess you could say. But there's also it's also a mall, as in you know you shop. But <clears throat> in the so for those of you who don't know what Corte Inglés is, it's like you have a grocery store in it. It's like one building. You have a grocery store. Um, you know they usually have like electronics, uh, a section for electronics. They have jewelry. It's like an entire mall, but in one building. And so. <clears throat> 
you have different floors for different items. So like the bottom is grocery stores, the next one might be jewelry, the next might be electronics, the next might be books. So yeah, you, can, you can find all that you want. Yeah, so I, I think like I went... Parrots in England. It's like what? Parrots. Parrots. Exactly, yes, yes like that. Oh, hair. It's a department Harry. store. Department oh, okay, store. okay. Yes. Okay. Huh, that's cool. Um, yeah, we don't really have anything like that in the United States. I mean, at least that I, that I know of. I there there might be something on the East Coast that I don't know about because um, mm -hmm. I've never traveled there. But at least as far as where I live, we don't have anything like that. Um, we have, I mean, like we have a grocery store called Fries, like Fries Food Stores. But it's like just a grocery store, but they sell like furniture, they sell books, they sell tons of things. And then we have Costco, which sells things in bulk. So it's a lot cheaper, like if you buy things in bulk, obviously. So Costco sells lots of things in bulk. Um, but as far as um, my presentation, what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, so I have two things that I wanted to share with you. Um, so one, so I'm going to pull these up on my screen because I have pictures. They're places I went when I was in Europe this summer, um, and they're both in Paris. So this one, can you guys see this okay? Yeah. Mm. So yeah. The, this is called, um, it's like, it's called Locks of Love. Um, yeah. So most of you probably know the story, but it's, I think yes. it was like about, um, Romeo and Juliet and so it's like you know what you do is you say you write your name and your lover's name um, on a lock and then you lock it to the bridge so this is a bridge that we're on then you throw the key into the river and then they say that you know you guys will be in love forever and you did it? no I couldn't find a lock I wanted to <laughs> <laughs> but they need somebody like I think the the police come and they remove these locks regularly that's what that at least that's what the tour guy told us but there was nowhere like I didn't have any locks with me I, I only had my one lock but it was at the hostel so I couldn't use it um, but yeah it's I just thought that was a really cool concept and you know so many people do it like this is just one side and behind me it was the exact same so I thought that was really cool in yeah, Paris. I think after Paris, there's a lot of cities that has that have this this kind of things. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they have coat people. Ah, okay. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, so so that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. Now the second one is this building. So it's kinda hard to see because you have these trees here. And so the Camp Ballet? No, this is in Paris. Yes, Grand Ballet. Oh, what is it called? Grand Ballet. It's Gah just on, on the um, Champs-Élysées. Grand Ballet. Oh, I thought you said Silicon Valley. Yeah, Grand Ballet. Oh. I Gahon was there last week. Wow, okay. So um, maybe you'll have to help me out a little bit, but what my tour guide told me was that during World War II, um, Hitler, when Hitler, you know, was in power and everything, he wanted Paris to be blown up. But um, the, I think it was like the governor of Paris or whoever was in charge, um, said, yeah, he said he, you know, he talked to Hitler and he said, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll blow up Paris. You give me power, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but he he didn't want to blow up Paris because it was such a beautiful city. So what he did was he ordered you know the the the, the troops or whatever. He made a deal with the, the Nazis in Paris, and he said, okay, what we're gonna do is trick Hitler, and the way we're gonna do it is blow up this building. So what they did was they blew up this building, and then apparently you know some other Nazi flew over Paris, and the the smoke and that. the explosion was so <laughs> big from this building that um, the Nazis thought that Paris had been blown up, and they told Hitler when in reality Paris had not been blown up; they had just blown up one building in Paris. So they tricked Hitler, and I thought that was a really cool story. Mm -hmm. A really nice one. And yeah. so, what's it called? What's the name? Grand Palace. Grand Palace. Palace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great okay. Palace. Yes, the Great Palace. Isn't it? Grand Palace. Now, Grand they, 
nowadays this is a big big museum and recently there's an uh, American artist um, Edouard Huppert Edouard Huppert uh, uh, he made an exposition of his painting there wow so it's a museum it's an art museum now yeah it's a big big museum now <clears throat> huh that's so cool yeah and this is the Grand Ballet, and just facing to the Grand Ballet, uh, the Grand Ballet, there's a small ballet, uh, petit ballet. It's the same. It's more smaller, uh -huh. but it's also small a ballet. ballet. Okay. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. All right, I think. Oh, he's he's here. Okay. All right, he's back. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I don't, I don't, I think I got kicked out of the hangout. That's been happening a lot recently. Um, sorry about that, but now I'm back. Okay, so what I was gonna say was, um, we have four minutes left. So, um, are there any buildings that you guys have in mind? that are really interesting or have really interesting architecture that you, you don't have a picture of right now or maybe you don't know the history um, right now but are there any you know buildings that you kinda wanna share with us that you don't have a picture for or history or are there any other buildings mm. um, well I can uh, just a second there is a funny story. Uh, the story, sorry, about um, uh, a building here in Buenos Aires. It's called the Cabana with K and G H at the end. And it was it's the um, highest uh, building in South America, and it has a really a really strange story because the um, the woman the, the the owner was a woman that fell in love with a man and they cannot be together and because of the um, he was uh, part of the aristocracy here in Buenos Aires very very long ago and he um, when he uh, married get get married he got married in a in Basilica del Santísimo Sacramento and this woman was very, very spiteful. You say, you say it like that. Spiteful, yeah. Spiteful, and he. Um, well, sorry. She. Uh, she built this cabana building because she didn't want to. Um, she want to spoil the Santa. You uh, know, where it is? Basilica del Santísimo Sacramento view. She wanted to spoil it. So she, just a second, she built this cabana building. I don't know if we can, here, have a, um, just a second, here it is. Uh -huh. And there you can find, there it is. I don't know, yes, there, there it is. Very quickly, there you can, I don't know if the fourth picture, the fourth picture, if I'm wrong. Uh, here you are. Uh, there you can see it. it's an amazing building. It's very, very. No, the the first, the first picture. It's an amazing <laughs> building, and there you can see the. Um, how do you say? It? Not the, the 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 topic. No, the. Um, the. The little. Yes, there it is. Well, she wanted to spoil it because uh, the guy didn't want to marry, get married with her. So that's what can uh, uh, a very angry lady can do. <laughs> <laughs> she can build this incredible building just to spoil the basilica, the basilica's view. It's wow! Incredible. That's so cool. That's that's so funny. That's an interesting story. Yes. And it's, it's the highest, the South, Amer the highest building in South America. The top. And wow. it's not very. 
very beautiful. It's like also this kind of um, it's art deco anyway. It's not brutalism. It's art deco. Art like deco. That. Okay. Huh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That's cool. <laughs> the tallest building in South America. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Carlos, you posted something. Yeah, this is the Rio de Janeiro's library, and it's incredible. It's amazing. It's, it's I don't know, but um, I I know that because uh, last year I I had to make a uh, a work for my for my um, uh, logic class. Uh huh. And I made it uh, about uh, mega constructions, mm. mega structures, and I picked up this one because it's incredible. Wow, that's that's and amazing. One, and the other one you have to you have to see is the is that one you have you can find it. Well, I can. Okay. So the name is that. This is the pictures are incredible, like one like that. Well, this one is like, oh my it. gosh strange books it's a, yeah. it's a only for strange books and <laughs> it's incredible that that is very incredible wow um all right well i have to go cuz i have to get ready for class but thank you guys for sharing everybody that shared and if you didn't share that's okay um you know you can share next time did you guys like this uh, class topic? Yes. 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 Okay, I'll see if I can do more. You know, maybe, maybe not, maybe not next time with buildings, um, but maybe also with you know, movies, music, um, bands, artists, just like basically sharing things because this is kind of this is a better way rather than you know just picking a topic and speaking about it. You guys can prepare something, and you know that way you can look up the vocabulary and teach yourself it um, and you know share something with everybody else and that way you know we're, we're kind of learning a little bit um, but I'll try and do music next time uh, but thank you guys for coming and if you guys have any questions about the Verblink Premium or just about anything in general please let me know on my verb on my Facebook page which is facebook.com slash Joe Verbling so if you have any questions just let me know but thank you guys for coming and I hope you guys have a great day Thank Excellent. You. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Bye, Joel. Goodbye. Have a nice day. See ya. Thanks, you too.